And now the walkthrough for my other portal map, Uncle Redclaw's Attic. This entire video is specifically dedicated to Voldex, who insisted, insisted repeatedly that this could not be done, and that I had made a completely impossible map. Repeatedly, like, you said it about 10 million times, so here's the walkthrough for the whole thing, and you can stop yelling at me now, please, thank you. <sighs> anyway. Well, you see what I just did there. And then you do this. And that's about it for the asbestos tube for now. That puts you in an area over here. I'm glad I added that light so I can actually see. And this is the first part of the walkthrough that you kind of actually have to pay attention to. Because normally you would go running through here and you'd fall down that little corridor and you'd spring up the other side. But if you're paying attention and you're curious, you'll notice that... There is one little platform down there, and there's also, at the very, very bottom, barely visible... I want to actually make sure I use this right. Orange? Okay. There is just enough room to throw that down. And we jump off. Like that. To come down to a secret little place where I have hidden... I don't know what I was trying to say there. It came out as like hidden in Hannah. I, for, I don't know why. I'm mincing my words pretty badly today, I guess. But yeah, I put this cube down here just to be a troll. La 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 la. You should explore the levels so you get all the stuff you need. Okay, and we're gonna ease back over here very carefully, and I'm gonna throw a portal back up there. Take this cube with us. Like so. Uh, now. We have the cube back, so we're going to go into this little hallway again. And I need to remember it's blue, so I'm going to use the blue portal down where the crossfire of turrets are at. And swish on through here, and then we're going to use the orange portal. And go with the cube to the other side of this little gap. And from there... We won't need the asbestos tube anymore. At least for the moment. Now we're gonna go... Darn it. <laughs> I do this every freaking time! I come in this... Ah, quit it! Every time I come in this little tunnel and bring the stupid asbestos tube with me, I end up getting stuck because it just sucks you into it. Asbestos tube, you suck. <laughs> Literally. Anyway. Okay. So from here, we throw down an orange portal right there, blue portal right there, grab the cube, and we jump off to Never Never Land. And we bounce up here, near the turret crossfire. And we're going to grab the asbestos tube again, from this new perspective. Jump in here, and float up a couple little ramps that you can't get up without the asbestos tube. So, plonk a portal through. Oh! oh. <laughs> I thought I didn't put a portal down for a second. Anyway, that's good. Now, we're in this room. Obvious exits are into the light bridge land. So, we're going to pull our light bridge with us, of course. And jump over here. Head down. You know, I might need to put more light in here. That's ah, fine. It's fine, you can just make it out. And we need to remember the color that we're using now is blue. So let's put a portal all the way down there. Fall, land on this, and we're in this room. Which is called the Voldex Hates Balls Room. Because <laughs> he got stuck in here and complained about it. Okay, anyway, here's how you solve this puzzle. Throw down a portal like that. Click. And then we roll the ball back to us. Grab the ball. Ball, you look really weird today. Like, you're all bright and lit up for, like, absolutely no reason. You guys see this? I don't know what the deal with the ball is today. I guess something... One of the textures might have bugged out. I don't know. So we're going to take this ball. We're going to go through here. Carefully avoid the disintegration field. Put the ball over here. Take the cube. Line it up so it's pushing the ball against the wall so it doesn't accidentally roll anywhere we don't want it to roll. 
like that. That should do it just fine. Okay. And then we're going to go back through here. And now we need to set ourselves up to actually be able to put the ball in that little receptacle, which is a little bit more complicated than you would think. So we're going to go out here, jump, shoot a portal, walk up here, and we need to put a portal on this side, like so. Get it as far over as we can, and as far down as we can. Come out here, grab our ball of death and damnation, go through here, and we can crouch. And at this point, you need to gingerly, gingerly, carefully drop it. Oh no, what have we got here though? It's a little laser beam. A turret! <laughs> you can go screw yourself, buddy. Because this turret is perfectly positioned, so we'll be able to knock it over, I think. Alright, so. No! Okay, Whew. I thought he was going to kill me for a second. Alright, let's try to jump back over. Ah, like that. And from here, we're going to take that portal. And I think we can... Let me make sure I can't do this. Huh. <laughs> I'm actually experimenting with something. Give me a second. I think there's an alternate way I can do this, which is a little bit safer than what I originally thought. Okay, now that's the back way. Alright. Jump! Alright. Now, let's see. I've got it like that. So that laser grid is up. Um... Okay, I think I think I'm right in assuming that I can do it this way. Let's jump down here. Oh, actually, hmm. This is a little curious. I'm sorry if I'm not talking very much and explaining this very well, but I haven't done it this way before because I didn't consider using the light bridge to actually bridge the gap between these two things that we're going to run into down here. But jump down. Hello, friends. That is awesome. <sighs> okay. This is good. I did not know you could do this. Or I didn't realize it, anyway. There we go. That's that's pretty cool. I did, okay. I did not think of taking the light bridge down here when I originally made this portal. I mean, not portal. Um, this map. Because I added the light bridge puzzle actually as an afterthought to make the map a little bit longer because I didn't think it was doing well enough. But adding that little light bridge there takes out one of the, uh, I guess, jump parts of the puzzle where you have to react very quickly. And you can kind of do it as at your own leisure instead. So that's kind of cool. I like that. It's an alternate way to do that. Alternatively, the, the original way I had planned for you to do that part was to just jump down and quickly run forward into the laser to disarm the uh, the turrets. And you have to be very quick about it. But this way works well. Uh, it's it, perfectly acceptable to do it this way. Alright, now we're going to, now that we've got a portal in there, take this box, jump through here! Oh! Huh? Oh no! Die! Ah! Die! Ha! Ah, die! That's the last turret we have to deal with in the level. I decided to be a little bit more, you know, active in its destruction. Considering these turrets are bastards! Anyway. So, we're down here, and we have a very familiar looking room. Considering this is my other idea for a maze that I didn't get to use in my last map. I should go ahead and say that, I've got to fess up. This map is really a lot of rejected ideas that I had for my first map that I didn't get done. Like, uh, I wanted to do a puzzle with both types of gel, and then it just kind of seemed to get a little bit too complicated for me <laughs> to build. So instead I just kind of made my own little thing. Ah, oh, crap, an enemy to come down here. Actually, no I did. 
So now we're going to grab the gel, the bouncy, bouncy gel. We're going to come back to the top here. And unlike all my last map where you had to spread it like everywhere, you are encouraged not to do that on this one. You only need it in certain spots. Like there. I think we need a glob right there. Oh wait, hang on. Let's try right there. Yeah, that's it. And then glob right there all those things maybe um hmm. I'm pretty sure I didn't hit that right yeah okay that's what I went what I meant to do and then we're gonna need one last glob all the way back there yep and then from there I'm gonna grab some water oh shoot not mean to do that. Re drench that, please. What I meant to do was instead of that, I did not mean to spread any gel in that one little corner back there. So I'm gonna quickly wash off that little area if I can get close to it. Like that. Alright. And I think that will set us up okay to do this puzzle. Now, this one requires some use of a button that not a lot of people use, which is the crouch button. So, what we're going to do is hit this, run over here, jump, fly in here, jump. Oh! Oh! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh! Let's go! I think I might have run out of time already, but... Uh, come on! Oh, I didn't actually. I made it first time. Holy crap. But there you go. What? Uh, I did something wrong. Hang on. There we go. Whew! For a second I thought these faith plates were messing up. That about gave me a heart attack. Anyway, once that part's done, we're gonna throw a cube in there, throw a cube in here. That sends both cubes down to the bottom. And we can use them for the room er earlier in the very first part of the level that I didn't even explain because I was too busy bitching about Voldex at the time. Thanks. Uh, yeah. We'll take this cube with us. Lob it in here. Take the other cube. And lob it in here. Like so. And then we're back above the original asbestos tube, and from here it's pretty much downhill. Portal up. Put a portal down there. Two buttons. One button reverses the flow of the asbestos tube. The other button turns it off entirely. So what we're going to do is take these two cubes, put them in there. Make sure they get all the way down to the other end. I was considering actually reversing the direction of this cube, but or the the thing, but eh. it kind of messed things up more than helping. And once well, I'm pretty sure they're at the end of the hallway, I'm gonna actually turn off the field, and then click this again, click this again, and then run through myself. Now, usually one cube gets stuck up here, but it's fine. You can just lob it down like so, and then wait for the 30 seconds to pass and the asbestos tube to go in the other direction. I wish there was a better way to do this, but pretty lights. Come on, let me down. Let me down. Go! Please release me. Oh, wee! Boink. And we're back at the bottom. Now. You might have noticed earlier that there's a bit of unnatural lighting in here. That is your hint, as well as all of these X's, that something bad will happen when you complete this part. So, pop a portal up here, grab this cube, drop it in that, grab this cube, and make sure I've got my color right, because this will go very badly if I don't. And... <gasps> Yeah, 
But anyway, that's the whole puzzle. Thanks for watching, guys. And, man, that wasn't that hard, was it? It didn't seem that hard to me, anyway. Of course, I did make the map, so uh, I guess I'm slightly biased. A little bit. Uh, yeah. Anyway, yep, thanks for watching. Bye.